here we have a GeoGebra worksheet that's asking us to create a diagram, specifically an Euler diagram. Uh, there's a link here if you'd like to know more about Euler diagrams. Uh, we want to create this Euler diagram to show the subset relationships between the sets A, B, and C that we're told here. We have these three circles to represent our three sets. And we can move them around by dragging the centers of the circles. We can resize them by dragging these resize points. And this is what we'll use to create our diagram. So the first thing that I want to notice, since we're looking for subset relationships specifically, is that everything that's in A the set capital A consists of the elements lowercase a and lowercase b is also in the set b. Both a and b are in b. That means that set a has to be a subset of set b, which means that this circle needs to be entirely inside of this circle. So first I'm going to make b a little bit bigger and I will move it so that A is entirely inside of it. Then I'm going to notice that everything that's in B is also in C. <coughs> so set C needs to contain set B, which means it'll also contain set A. So I'm going to move C over here and resize it, move and resize in any order. Uh, I can click check answer to see if this is correct. It tells me I need to try again. And notice I didn't make my set C quite large enough. There's a little bit of B here poking out. So I'll resize that to be a little bit bigger and now click check answer. So I've got step one done correctly. Now I need to do step two and arrange the elements in these sets. So I can look and take these one at a time. A is in set A, set B, and set C. That means it needs to be in that innermost circle of set A. Likewise, B needs to be in that innermost circle. Now let's look at C. C is not in set A, so it will not be in our innermost circle. But it is in set B, which means it needs to go right here. Then element D well, now to notice that D is not in A, it's not in B, and it's not in C. That means it needs to be outside of all of these circles. I could leave it right where it is. I could put it just sort of closer to the diagram. It really doesn't matter. Then I have E and F that are in set C, but not in A or B. So I can put these in this outermost part. Click check answer. And I've got that done correctly. 